remember that night at the Bellash Hotel? He was there that night. The tree of food fell on her? Yeah, I took her for a walk on the bridge. Oh, I remember. I remember. God works for the good of everyone. Jesus will say Fish goes, water! Excuse me, sir. Do you have any change? Good job, you got me all life. I smell like sewage. Mind if I ate my lunch uh, over here? Uh, the bench over there is. Uh... No, no, I don't mind it. Thank you. It's terrible how they don't take care of the things in the park anymore. Yes. Yes, it is terrible. So, how are you today? Not too bad. How are you? Oh, I'm... I'm okay. You sure about that? Oh, sorry, sir. Do you have a quarter? Not gonna get very far on quarter. God bless you, man. You don't mind me saying this, but that is the most well-organized lunch I've ever seen in my life. Oh. Thank you. A lot of good it does me, though. In an hour, I'll just be hungry again. <laughs> I know what that's like. No, you don't. Even if I ate at 12.59, I'd be starving again in two minutes. Well, I'm certainly glad I don't have your problem. <laughs> Say that again. Well, I'm certainly glad I don't have your problem. Say that again. That's... <laughs> so, uh, what do you do? I'm a legal secretary with a sense of humor. We're very rare. We could use someone with a sense of humor over where I work. Where's that? Glamdring and Glamdring. Wow, well, that's a big deal. Well, they may be a big deal, but I'm, uh, I'm just one of the little people. Hey, don't knock it. I mean, it's those little people who run these joints, right? It's not a joint I'd particularly care to run. Or even work for, for that matter. So why the hell do you work there? Beats me. Seemed like a good idea. 23 years ago. Well, like you said, it's a... Uh, it's a big deal company, and good benefits, decent hours, nine to five, my own desk. It seems to me like you could use a little change in your life. <laughs> You're telling me. Well, I got it, all right. This was going to be the year. The year for moving up, the year for big changes. It's never too late. It is. Believe me, it is. I bet you wouldn't let yourself get stuck in a rut for 23 days. I bet I wouldn't let myself get stuck in a rut for 23 minutes. 
that that's a wonderful drawing. I think you'd lose that bet, Mister. Oh, it's, it's not Mister. It's uh, it's Myron. Myron Castle. Dolores Park. Good to know you, Mom. I never knew how short an hour could be. I should be glad I'm not hung up on a five-minute period. And if it were a second or less, I'd... What's wrong? In my entire life, I have... This is the first time that I have ever struck up a conversation with a stranger. I can't believe that I'm thinking of telling you this. There's something about you that... What? What is there about me? Dolores. Something... Something terrible has happened to the whole world. The whole universe. You see, it's like... It's like we're stuck. You know, like a, like a needle on a scratch record. It all starts at 12.01. And everything goes along fine until 1 o'clock. And then, bam, the whole world snaps back to 12.01 again. Like the whole hour never happened. And everything goes back to the way it was. Everything. So that each hour seems new. The fifth time or the five millionth time. Except to me. My memory's not erased. I am the only one that knows he's repeating the same hour. But I'll tell you, you know what the worst part is? Well, it's all starting to seem normal to me now. I mean, I've been through this 30 or 40 times. Oh, and the whole universe is going cockamamie. What am I doing about it? I'm, I'm sitting here e eating carrot sticks. See that guy in line over there? The guy with the hat on? Now in two seconds, he's gonna get fed up with waiting and leave. You see? See those two women over there? The one on the left. She's just about to dump... How did I know that? Huh? Because I have seen it all before. It's just like I've seen you sitting here and drawing and I wanted to talk to you so bad it's taken me it's taken me 40 times to work up my courage
yours. Do I know you? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were someone else. Anyway, I really want to go. Well, don't be late. Okay, see you at five. Yes, again, pal. What are you doing here? You've got 18 minutes of lunch left. Give me a break, will you? Mr. Schedule breaks his routine. Stop the presses. Stephanie, I have to talk to this guy. He's at the Tempest Institute. His name is Professor Nathan Rosenbluth. Get him on the phone for me, will you? Oh. Please. I saw him on the news this morning. What a weirdo. Him? You saw him? What did he say? I don't know. Some kind of crazy mumbo jumbo. You think he's on to something? No, I... I got it. I'll be at my desk. Hello. This is Stephanie Stein. I'm calling for a Mr. Castleman at Glamdring and Glamdring. He would like to speak to Professor Rosen. I see. I see. I'll tell him. Thank you so much. Bye. Stephanie? It was hopeless. The secretary says he's swamped with calls. Tell her it's urgent. Tell her I'm... I'm a big shot at glamdering and glamdering. Pull out all the stops. Do whatever you have to do. Big shot. <laughs> That'll be the day. Professor Rosenbluth, this is Myron Castleman. I, I am, I'm calling about your time bombs here. If you're from a newspaper, I think I've had quite enough press. And if you're calling to attack me, don't waste your time. No, no. I'm not from any newspaper, and I'm not calling to attack you. I'm calling because I happen to know that the time bombs has already happened. <laughs> That's a new one. For one thing, Mr. Castleman, if it had happened, you wouldn't remember it. Your memory would be reset along with everything else. But it hasn't been. That's the terrible thing. If you'll excuse me, I have a lot of calls to answer. I don't care whether you believe me or not. I just want to know when it does happen. Is there a way out? Does the antimatter universe ever go away? Professor, are, are you there? Mr. Castle, if you are telling the truth and you do remember, that means I'm right about that, too. Right about what? About consciousness being an independent variable outside the machinery of the universe is something I've only just begun to figure out. Please! I, I have to know, does the time bounce ever end? I have to know if there's any way out. That's one aspect of the problem. Sorry. 
I'm sorry, I, I forgot you would be there. What? I have to get to a phone. Hey, I could have killed you. Watch your bag. Excuse me, sir, would you like to see our paper? Fish goes into a bar, and the bartender says, what do you want? And the fish goes, water! <laughs> Stephanie, get Professor Rosenbluth back on the line. Get who back? Please, call the Tempest Institute. Get Professor Nathan Rosenbluth on the line, the time bonds man. I saw him on the news this morning. What a weirdo. Tell him it's urgent. Tell him, uh, tell him it's a big shot at Glamdring and Glamdring. Pull out all the stops. Big shot. That'll be the day. Stephanie, please. Hello, hello, yes, this is Stephanie Stein, um, calling for Mr. Castleman of Glandry, Glandry. We wanted to speak to Professor Rosen. Oh, I see, well, you know, my boss is extremely important, and I believe they are acquainted with each other. Professor Rosenbluth's on the line. Professor Rosenbluth, it's Byron Castleman. Now, <clears throat> you were just saying... Hello? Is anybody there? Look, whoever you are... You know what it's like to be alone? There. I'm sorry. God bless you, sir. What the hell is the matter with him? That, that was really nice of you. Thank you. Dolores, Dolores Park. Myron. Myron Castleman.
Hello, Stephanie. It's Myron Castleman calling. No, no, listen to me. I want you to call the Tempest Institute. Get a hold of a Nathan Rosenbluth, the time bounce man. Yes, yes, I know you saw him on TV, what a weirdo. Listen, tell him that I'm a big shot at uh, Glamdring and Glamdring, that I'm on my way, and to please meet me in the lobby. Taxi! Taxi! <laughs> Secretary Cole. I don't want to live forever. Not like this. What are you talking about? Your time bounce. It's happening. The same hour is repeating over and over again. And I remember it every time. But you, everyone else forgets. I think you need to get some help, sir. But you were right about the time bounce. About everything. About consciousness being an independent variable. Yes. How would I know that if you hadn't told me? transition light. It's a crackling noise, and then darkness, and then a white light. And colors? Yes. I never told anyone about that either. That I was right. I was right. Does it ever end? Is there anything you can do? Myron Castleman. 